Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Streaming Storytime brought to you by the Hoover Public Library here in my house. I'm Miss Anna Beth, and I'm thrilled to have you back again. Um, and so today, since things are kind of strange day to day, I thought I would talk about something that comes around every year, like clockwork. We all have them. We all get to celebrate them. Can you think about what that might be? Your birthday, right, exactly. Um, I personally love celebrating not only my birthday, but my friends and my family. Um, it's just a good time. And so today we're gonna talk about somebody who has a very, uh, very specific birthday. Oh, here are my cats. They're going to be with us today. So I thought I might tell you a story based off this book, Boa's Bad Birthday uh, by Janine Willis and Tony Ross. So here we go. So it was somebody's birthday today, and it was <gasps> Boa's birthday. Oh my goodness, so this is Boa, and he just, he loves birthdays just like everybody else, but he has never, ever had a good birthday. They've all been bad, we don't know why. But you know what? He's having a birthday party today because today is his big day. And he is feeling hopeful that things are going to turn around. So his friends showed up. They brought him lots of presents. I mean, who doesn't love presents? They sang happy birthday. Let's sing happy birthday to Bo real quick. <gasps> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bo. Happy birthday to you. And see, that even went well. Good job. Hmm. He's got this awesome party hat on. What could go wrong? He thought... Things were going pretty well, so maybe we should open our presents, right? Oh, let's get to these delightful presents. Let's start with this one says, from Ant Eater. <clears throat> okay. What has Ant Eater brought him? A soccer ball. Now, that would be pretty fun if you got a soccer ball for your birthday, but there's a little something wrong with giving a boa a soccer ball. What could it be? You're right, it's because he doesn't have any legs to play soccer. So thank you, Anteater, for the thought, but maybe not, let's see. Oh, this one's from Monkey. Oh, we're excited because Monkey always brings the silliest things. Let's see what it is. A pair of cool sunglasses. Oh, that is so time. I mean, I love sunglasses, but Boa, what would be wrong with maybe a Boa having sunglasses. It's because he doesn't have a nose or ears to hold up his uh, glasses like my ears are holding up my glasses right now. So good thought, monkey. All right, let's see what else we can get from Jaguar. Oh, it's pretty big. It could be pretty cool. It is a pair of mittens. Oh, well, that's a really sweet thought, but um, Boa here doesn't have any hands. Oh, Jaguar, okay. Let's, okay, there's gotta be a good one in this pile, right, you guys? Okay, so let's see, from Orangutan. Okay, it's really big, it's the biggest one in the pile. Let's see what it is. I'm intrigued, it's a piano. Wow, that is a very thoughtful gift to give anyone. Quite extravagant, but Boa here doesn't have any fingers to play the piano. So, ugh, sorry Boa. Okay, well, let's go on to the next one. So this one's from Sloth. My bet is that it's pajamas. It feels very on brand for a Sloth. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it was a hairbrush. Oh. Well, that would be a very sweet gift if it wasn't for the fact that Boa, now does Boa have any hair to brush? I do, but Boa does not have any hair to brush. You guys, what in the world? I just don't know. These are all terrible gifts for Boa, but he's got one left because he's got one more gift. So let's clear the palette here. And that gift came from 
dung beetle. Now, a dung beetle, do you know what dung is? Do you know? He knows. Dung is like poo. Ew. So what do we think that dung beetle has brought to the party? You guys, he brought dung. He brought this ball of doo-doo. Ew. It smelled terrible. And Boa said, thanks for my dung, dung beetle. But then he went off and he cried because he had just never had a good birthday ever. So he kind of laid down and he was very sad. But then it started to rain. So all together, can we make some rain with our hands? Very good. Sounds kind of like the rain happening outside. We did get some rain today or last night. And then make that rain come down. Very good, very good. And then something started to happen to this dung. Hmm. From that dung, you guys, I kid you not, comes the most gorgeous, beautiful, big tree that Boa has ever seen. And you guys, he crawled into the tree and went all through it, you guys, and he loved it so much. He never wanted to be on the ground because he loved his tree. It was like a playground for Boa. Dung Beetle had given him the best gift and it was the most unexpected. So, you all, if you ever receive a gift that really, 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 really stinks, say thank you because you should, because that's nice, but also because you never know when that might be the best present ever. So happy birthday, Boa. Let's all say it one more time. Happy birthday, Boa. Thank you so much for joining me today. I uh, hope to see you guys soon. And I'm not sure what the storyteller or who the storyteller is for tomorrow morning, but we'll be bringing you more stories tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. So we'll see you then. 